think you're gonna be very surprised about who just bought Bitcoin. What giant, massive entity bought Bitcoin? Uh, and how much Bitcoin did they buy? But first, here's some interesting news. Keep in mind, I'm apolitical. I don't care about candidates. I don't like politicians whatsoever, but I'm just giving you a little bit of a heads up here that Robert Kennedy Jr. has tried to meet up with Kamala Harris to discuss a cabinet job. So with that said, let me know what you think below. Just this just needed to get out. I'm not trying to ruffle anybody's feathers. I know you guys gotta get your panties in a bunch when I talk about something crazy like this, but let me know what you think. Moving on, we have the US government just sent 10 thousand Silk Road Bitcoin worth $593 million worth of Bitcoin to Coinbase. Are they going to sell it? Let me know what you think. For me, what do I think is going to happen? They're probably not going to sell it. Okay. Um, now, if there is going to be a reserve, that would be smart of them to go ahead and keep that. But keep in mind, Trump is not in office. So this could be, you know, used to sell before the election. But regardless, it doesn't matter because BlackRock and all of these entities and the entity that I'm about to share with you at the end of this video are buying hand over fist right now. OK, so take this as a bullish sign. Also take this quietness in this space and take the misery that is in this space with all your favorite influencers out there that are really miserable, hoping that we don't break certain amounts of resistance and also people that are constantly saying, oh, when are we gonna get out of this range? That is perfect. This is what you wanna see. You wanna see people panicking and you wanna see the Bitcoin fear and greed index in extreme fear, which is where we are right now. Moving on, we have US inflation falls to 2.9%, which is lower than uh, everybody expected pretty much. But I said on my tweet at Sir Crypto Tips, uh, nobody with two brain cells to put together thinks inflation is under 3%. Obviously, it's not under 3%. Every number that comes out of government pretty much is a lie. Okay, This is why I like Bitcoin so much because the whole mo motto for Bitcoin is don't trust verify. And if you want to go to shop.learningcrypto.com, you will have a don't trust verify shirt if you want to purchase that. Plus, there's much more there. Okay, moving on, we have EJ Anthony. I really like this guy. He has some really interesting charts. Uh, he says, the other day, another record high for federal debt. Uh, third, $35,160 billion now. It wasn't it was like a couple, like a week and a half, two weeks ago that I said, oh yeah, we just hit 35 trillion. Now they're at 35.16 trillion. Like I said, it's never going to end. It has to keep exploding higher. I know I keep saying this over and over again, but I'm proving this to you. It's great because you know what? You'll be able to go back on these videos and think, okay, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to debt. When all these other people are like, we need to cut back on debt, blah, blah, blah. That's never going to happen. You cannot, that's like, that's like uh, wishing for money under your pillow for the fairy, tooth fairy to come by and after you put your, your tooth in there. It ain't gonna happen, okay? And this, is, this next story is for you as citizens. Hackers may have stolen social security numbers of every American from national public data around 2.0 2.9 billion records. This is according to the LA Times. So here's, here's your government gathering a bunch of information about you, putting it out there and having hackers steal it from you. This is government for you. Now this is why we need to protect our privacy. Isn't, it isn't because you have something to hide. It's because you're putting yourself in major risk. Okay. Keep that in your mind. A good, a good person to follow is Naomi Brockwell. She's really great at privacy uh, protocols and, and keeping your data safe uh, from hackers and so on and governments and stuff like that. Okay, next up we have this tweet from Michael Gade. He says, Lehman Brothers filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy uh, protection on September 15, 2008. The stock market, uh, for a week was fine, uh, then crashed with a two 
with a lag two weeks later. So it took two weeks for the stock market to really start crashing. And he thinks that with the carry trade in Japan that things are going to unravel fast. But I'm here to tell you that there's a big difference between then and now. Right now, we have we already know what governments did after 2008. They printed, they bailed out their partners, they bailed out banks, and they just they screwed over the U.S. public. And global governments did pretty much the same thing. And that is why on the Genesis block, on the first block of Bitcoin, it pretty much bashed what was happening with the banker bailouts. But this is what you're gonna you're gonna be freaking out about these stupid things as a bull as a person who understands bull markets, bull markets climb on a wall of worry. And this guy just kind of adds to it. And I, I did my comment on there as well. Uh, I don't think he's going to listen to that because, you know, it goes totally against what, what he said right there. But keep in mind that they're going to bail out banks. And how are they going to bail? Ba they're going to bail out complete industries. How are they going to do that? They're going to print, print, print. They're going to print so much freaking currency. Your mind can't even comprehend how much they're going to print. Keep in mind, it was just, we just, a week ago, two weeks ago, we just hit $35 trillion in debt now. We're at $35.16 trillion. <laughs> this is crazy. This is psychotic. Okay, <laughs> moving on. We have Bitcoin is a vehicle for fraudsters, warns Goldman Sachs boss. This is our final story. Goldman Sachs said that six years ago. Now they just announced that they're holding Bitcoin. $2.8 trillion asset manager Goldman Sachs, or as I like to call it, um, Vampire Squid, if you don't know what that is, look it up, that's fun, uh, discusses 400, or discloses $418 million Bitcoin ETF holding. So they're actually not holding the real thing, they're holding a derivative of Bitcoin, but regardless, they are trying to capture some of the gains in Bitcoin. So ask yourself, why would these people go in if we're in a bear market? Because we're not in a bear market, okay? So just click that unfollow button on all these knuckleheads on influencers that are freaking out, that are telling you, oh, we're in a bear market, or if we lose this support, then it's all over. No, they don't know what they're talking about. Anyways, if you like what I have to say here, please like and subscribe, and also check us out at learningcrypto.com if you wanna see our trade alerts when I'm buying, when I'm selling. One of our trades did really well recently, and that is nice to see, especially during a flat period in Bitcoin, uh, at least an accumulation phase. That's all I have. Talk to you soon.